Hello, this is Lynn, and this is the overview for Sun in Virgo. The Sun enters Virgo on the 23rd of August and remains until the 23rd of September. The things which keep us from being good at anything are not always the things that are our worst faults. And Virgos often need to understand this in order to keep from being or feeling inadequate or failed. In other words, we may excel at certain things which come naturally, but need to acquire other skills which can be learned and applied. It is so with the present phase of your life. Your ability to balance and absorb the new information with the old is under the spotlight during the third Mercury retrograde motion in Libra in September and October when the matter of improving your everyday financial agenda relies on how you absorb and then communicate information to people who are waiting to hear or need to see an example of what is on offer. As Jupiter has gone into Virgo in August to be joined by Mars in September and then Venus in October, the thoroughness with which you are purging your life in this area is rigorous even by your standards. And the last word is with Mercury in the acutely discriminative vibration of Libra in the third week of October, when the little planet makes a strong square to Pluto Capricorn and roots or secures the terms and conditions in some final agreement or minor contract. This can grow into something larger, but much depends on your own choices. The last 12 months of Jupiter through Leo in your 12th solar house has prepared ground that you did not know you would be covering until Jupiter's last brush with Saturn in July when all the reservations you were keeping so silent about and the reticence you felt about progress came to the fore and forced you to greater knowledge within exploration. Now the guiding and benevolent force of Jupiter is with you and you're no longer working alone but with the support which takes the game up to a better grade. Whether this be in your personal life or your professional life or in some arbitrary sort of slot that is hard to define, you can see the results of what you put effort into without gain for so long. The faith you had then may have been in the matter at hand but it was also in your own ability so please see that plainly. As Saturn goes back into Sagittarius once more in October, or goes direct into Sagittarius in October, after being retrograde in Scorpio, it becomes obvious how you must loop the development from March to October in one detailed and manageable whole, rather than a bundle of random hopes and experience gained through the period of a year. The extremes to which you may have been prone between January and March this year have to be reduced to co cohesive risks or disposable conditions by January next year so that the, des the desired result and the satisfaction gained from things is not limited by conditions you didn't bargain for. These are only a worry if you don't understand them. And so that brings us to the comments in the first part of this reading the planning of development is vital whether it's mental or experimental and in whatever area of life in short you must do the homework or the research in september and october and nothing then will be insurmountable as 2016 comes in thank you join us next time for the overview of sun libra